On February 28th, after flying for some three hours from Amsterdam, the crew of a KLM 777-200ER made the decision to turn around after reporting a bird strike. The aircraft was on its way to Tanzania, but turned around just after flying over mainland Greece. Diversion flights that return to the Origin Airport are often nicknamed Flights to Nowhere. February's KLM incident was one of these flights, spending about six hours in the air only to return to Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. The aircraft, a 777-200ER registered as Papa Hotel Bravo Quebec Delta, departed Amsterdam on February 28th at 0950 local time. The aircraft crossed over the European continent and was approaching the Mediterranean before the crew turned around. It returned to Amsterdam at 1611. The total flight duration was listed as 6 hours and 9 minutes. According to Radarbox.com and other sources, the reason for this diversion was a bird strike. A photo posted to Twitter shows the damage caused by the strike, with a dent visible on the engine cowling. One comment or question to the Radarbox.com Twitter post sums up our own reaction to this report. Did it hit it at 35,000 feet? Indeed, with such little information available, it's difficult to know exactly what happened and why the aircraft turned around after multiple hours at cruising altitude, reporting a bird strike as the reason. In case you weren't aware, birds don't typically fly at the same altitude as aircraft. If they did, we would probably be seeing many more bird strike reports and subsequent emergency diversions. Indeed, most bird strikes tend to take place just after takeoff and just before landing when aircraft are at the same altitude as local birds. Most suspect that the strike took place in Amsterdam, and there was some time spent on the discovery and decision-making process. It could have been spotted by a passenger later in the flight, with additional time spent by the crew getting guidance from the company. The intriguing fact we discovered in reporting this incident is that some birds are indeed capable of flying at the cruising altitude of aircraft. In fact, a bird of prey known as Rupel's vulture is reported to have a maximum flight height of 37,100 feet. However, it appears that this particular high-flying creature is only found in North and East Africa. Meanwhile, the common crane and bar-headed goose have been recorded flying as high as 33,000 feet and 29,000 feet respectively. What's more, the migratory patterns of the common crane do cover the area where the KLM 777 turned around over Greece. Of course, there's a big difference between the jet's 35,000 feet cruising altitude and the maximum recorded height of a bird, which still doesn't provide us with a satisfying answer. At the end of the day, given the Boeing engine's incidents that took place earlier in the month, combined with limited repair facilities in Tanzania, it was probably best that the aircraft returned to base. What do you think happened here? Could a bird strike have taken place at such a height? Or is there another explanation for the turnaround three hours into the journey? Let us know in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.